Today I'm going to talk about plucking and shaping your eyebrows. Now, I've already plucked and shaped one, and I've got the other one prepped just especially for you. I've grown out my eyebrow hairs for you, and that's been really creepy feeling for me. My eyebrows are really blonde, so what I've done is I've taken some uh, Revlon Lash Fantasy, and I put some filament on, and then I put mascara on so you can see where I'm kind of the hairiest right now. My eyebrows are insane. They grow like down onto my eye, but I'm like a werewolf. I don't know. Well, the first thing you want to do is not mascara up your eyebrow, but get your eyebrow brush and brush your eyebrow up into its natural shape. Depending on the arch that you want, I like to have a really straight line across the top part of my brow and then a definite arch down the side. Uh, I think it looks best when your eyebrow comes up and touches at a diagonal corner and a diagonal corner. So you can see that I've done that here. I've, I've had to pencil this in on this side. And I'll have to pencil some in right here. But what I'm going to do, so you can see what I'm doing, is I'm going to draw a line. Now, you can take a white crayon and do this. I'm using black so you can just see what I'm doing better because the white wouldn't show up very well. So once you've got your eyebrow brushed into the shape that you like, take your eye pencil and just draw across the bottom of where you want your arch to be. So that's going to be the line that I want. Now anything under this line, fair game. I'm going to pluck it all out. You don't ever want to pluck above your eyebrow. You can take scissors and trim that, but, but don't pluck out of the top. So what I've done is I've made my line, and now you can see I've got all these little stray hairs I need to get rid of. I'm going to take my tweezers, and I use uh, just little Revlon tweezers. They're angled tip. I'm going to pull up my brow a little so the skin is taut, and then using the flat of the tweezer, I'm just going to go in and start plucking away. And yeah, it's a little painful. It's not horrible. It's nothing compared to childbirth, but it doesn't feel good. So I'm just going to pluck until I've got every little hair I can see underneath this line of color. I started plucking my eyebrows in my, I guess, late teens, early 20s. Twin Peaks was on. Cheryl and Finn was all the rage. And Cheryl and Finn had those gorgeous, just black, beautifully arched eyebrows. They were amazing. So I started trying to emulate that. That black eyeliner's getting a little in my way. Okay. I do like a really obvious arch. Some people do not. You may want a softer, more rounded shape. It all just depends on what you like and what looks good on your face. If you look at your face shape, you can make a lot of determinations about your eyebrows. Okay, that's as much as I can do with the black eyeliner in the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Cetaphil cleanser, which I love and I talk about all the time, and I'm going to put some of that up here and just clean this eyeliner pencil off. And you'll be able to see how great the Cetaphil is. I just put that on, and now I'm going to wipe it off. Cetaphil is amazing. I mean, that's, it's hard to f find any makeup remover that does this without leaving you oily. And that's the best part of the Cetaphil is it's not oil-based, so you don't get a, it's not going to grease you up. And I've just taken off most of my eye makeup, but that's okay. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my eyebrow brush and just brush my brow back up into the arch shape that I like. And I'm going to just go in and pick out any little stray hairs that are bothering me. But the reason I draw the line and the reason an eyebrow plucking beginner should draw the line is that way it keeps you from over plucking. I have over plucked myself many a time before I started doing it this way. And I can just see I've got a couple of little really blonde hairs that I missed. Which won't make a difference in the look of things, but when you start putting eyeshadow on, it makes a little bit of a difference. And I've got a little stray guy down here. 
And there's another. So I'm leaning into a lit makeup mirror and I'm using the large reflective side. Really the best place in the world to pluck eyebrows, I think, is in the car. Because in the daylight, the natural sunlight, you can see a lot more of what's going on with your hair. Just flip down your visor and it's all good. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for the plucking. I'm going to brush that back up and get a look at it. I like it. So now I'm going to go to work with my eyebrow pencil, and this is by Too Faced, and it's called Brownie, and the color is Blondie. And again, it's got a little wand on the end where you can shape up your brow. And then it's got the actual pencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see. I'm kind of missing some hairs right there, so I'm just going to give myself a little color right there. And I'm going to work my way out, just short little strokes to the edge here. This eyebrow grows a little longer than this one, so I'm just going to carry my line down a little bit and go in and fill in. And then I'm going to shut it, go back in and brush it back up. You always want to brush out the line you draw on, otherwise it'll look like you've done it with a Sharpie. Nobody wants Sharpie eyebrows. Well, some people want Sharpie eyebrows. You don't want Sharpie eyebrows. And that's it. That's how you pluck an eyebrow.